Hey Sparker, so in this little quick demo here, I just wanted to show a couple of different steps you can try to take if you're having issues connecting the app to the amp. Um, you know, it happens occasionally that they just disconnect from each other and, uh, you know, you, you get out of sync and all of a sudden your settings aren't working, you try to change to a different tone and, uh, you know, the amp doesn't respond to that. So there's a couple of things to try. There's really only two or three things you can try. So I just wanted to show everyone how that works. So right now it's disconnected. Um, so what, what I try first um, pretty much every time is going up to this, this little menu here, going down to connect hardware and going to connect. Now this is gonna, this is gonna fail because the uh, amp is actually off right now, but uh, it'll also fail just when there's an issue with Bluetooth or something's hung up in the hardware. Sometimes it'll just, it just won't work. This step just won't work. And so the next thing I usually try when that when I run into that is just turning the amp off and back on. So it's been off for a few seconds already, so I'm going to just turn it back on. I'll give it about five or so seconds to kind of boot up. It doesn't take too long to do that before uh, the Bluetooth is ready to respond again. And then we just do retry. And this probably will work. Most times it does. Uh, so there it is reconnecting now, and then it'll say connected. Uh, that doesn't always work though. Uh, so the last thing I kind of try when that happens, uh, when it when it still doesn't connect after I've tried those things, is actually closing out of the app entirely. So on iOS, the way you do that is you double click the home button, and then you just swipe it up, and it closes out of that app. And you know I'll let that close, and then a couple seconds later I'll relaunch it. So I'll relaunch Spark, and now it's going to try to connect right away. And most times, if it hasn't worked by now, this should work for you. So there it goes connecting. Now the very last thing I try is kind of both of those things in tandem. Um, you know, if it if it still hadn't worked at that point, I'll turn the amp off and I'll close out of the app. Uh, then I'll I'll turn the amp back on, give it a couple seconds, reopen the app, and you know by then it'll it'll work unless there's a real problem with either your amp or with the your d device, uh, in which case you know. We're out of luck, but nine times out of ten, all these uh, some combination of these steps will help you out. So, just wanted to show everyone that, and uh, yeah, good luck.